Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Freihung, Germany. This is a small city in between Grafenwehr and Vilsack. Today we're gonna do a house tour, but it's gonna be a little bit different. I got a spouse with me that actually lived here for the last three years. She is going to help me uh, understand exactly what this house is all about, what it has to offer, the city, uh, the area, uh, all types of stuff. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, starting with the outside and the garage area. You said this is three different um, parking spots. Yeah, out you here? can park along this side, park right in front of the garage, going that way, uh -huh. and then have friends park over there if you want. And then you also have the garage to park inside of. Yes, this and nowadays. this. What is this area back over here? That leads to the trail. There's a walking trail that leads. Um, just a five minute walk down to the train station. Perfect. And this is probably one of the biggest backyard areas I've and ever seen. <laughs> and front yards <laughs> that I've seen uh, in government housing. And you said that on up this other side over here is the other house, right? Yes, the other duplex up until that bush is ours. Let's walk this way. Yeah, so it's fun to mow. Fun to mow, yeah. And this house, along with the others in the neighborhood, there's four houses like this, right? Four duplexes, eight single houses. And as you can see, after this little um, pipe here, uh, that's the other house. So this is one house over here, and this is the house that we're going to see. And the, they're the same homes, right? Yeah, Basically. You, you share like a, um, a stair wall, a living room wall, and quote unquote, the master bedroom, but literally we rarely ever hear our neighbors. Okay, perfect. And then this here is also government housing. Correct. So you have another duplex. two houses here, two there, right? Correct. That's a duplex. Two here. And that was it. And then ours. And then you guys. So four duplexes, eight units. Okay. Let's go check out the walking trail real quick. Sure. All right. Okay, so walking trail. This is really cool. Uh, this way is the train station. Correct. Yeah. And, and that train station will take you literally anywhere in Europe. We've yep. gone to Paris from that train station. Mm -hmm. I've been to Budapest from that train station. Yep. Uh, we've been all over Italy from that train station. So that's pretty convenient. This way is the fire station. This is the fire station right there? Right there. That big place? Okay. Yep. And then on the other side of that is the Nangut, which is a market. So if you are forgetting some onions or some eggs in the morning, you can take a little walk down there, grab it. Or, mi or milk. Or, or milk. milk. Oh, at the milk stand, yes, the 24 hour milk stand. Yes, I'll show the milk stand uh, in a little bit, but yeah, okay, so, nice. Look at this backyard space here, though. This is incredible. Come on, come on, get your frisbee. Get your frisbee. Oh. Come on. Yeah, dogs, kids have a Come lot of space. Oh, yeah. oh nice. <laughs> okay, garage. We have an outlet here. That is a 220 volt outlet. There's lights in here. And there's also 220 volt outlet here as well. One car garage. On the back side of the garage, into the backyard, you have uh, extra storage. So you can fit your lawnmower, bikes, and other necessities in here. Okay, recycling trash cans. Talk to me about this. So they pick up the trash, I think, twice a month. The, a cardboard once a month. And then they also... Right down the street at the train station is a recycle center for anything that goes in your plastic. Plastics. And then at the fire station, you take the um, glass and separate it by color. Oh, you take it to the fire station? Yeah, right. Oh. The, the fire station, you just... So we just go, when we go get our croissants, we'll take a little bag of glass and we'll have fun sorting it out. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay. Um, that's mailbox. You just reminded me about the uh, the mailbox situation here. So uh, go ahead. You can... So you can order stuff on um, Amazon DE or anything that you can't get sent to your PO box. So we order a lot of stuff on Amazon DE or um, Hermes and um, DHL deliver out yeah. here. And literally in Amazon DE, that comes like within a day. Yeah, a you can, day you for can, sure. My wife has ordered stuff in the morning and it's gotten there like that day. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's go inside, shall we? Okay. 
Okay, talk to me about this window situation when you first walk in. Why is it here? Do you, is it any type of function? I don't know why it's here, but we like to decorate it for Christmas, but I do like that it is here because it gives extra natural light into the living room from our front door area. Okay, I see. But it is just a random window as soon as you walk in. So very interesting. And there's a lot of homes that are like this uh, actually, so I've, I've filmed a home that is the spinning image of this, so I can uh, leave that link in the description and show you guys what that looks like, but I didn't know that you can get a bunch of natural light from the front door, and um, this is brand new information for me, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's move on. Walking outside of the mudroom area, you have a uh, built-in closet. Mm -hmm. Great for mm -hmm. our jackets and games and school stuff shoes and all that stuff, yeah. right? And then the kitchen. So, how did you like the kitchen? Was it good I love the kitchen. I like that it's nice and long. We have the door that you can go outside. We let our dog out that way. Doesn't feel claustrophobic. I love that we have all this light underneath the cabinets. Yeah, that is a lot of light. Yeah, uh, we did put a new sink in, but we are going to keep it. There's, there's lots of pantry space. You can put a shelf in there. We had a shelf before everything left. Okay, and we you guys, this is a this is a new uh, faucet. New faucet. And did you just where did you go to get that? Just on Amazon base? DE and got oh. it delivered straight to our house. <laughs> oh, and you just put it on yourself. Uh, Brandon did, yeah, my okay. husband did, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we have both American and German uh, plugs, which is nice. Yep. Sweet, sweet. Okay. How were the appliances? Did you guys, was this good for you guys? Yeah, we enjoyed them and whatever did not Dishwasher. either work or had problems with, we just called um, housing and they came and replaced them between like the dishwasher. We actually got a new dishwasher. We got a new stove. We even got, I think a new washer, maybe not dryer. Okay. And then this uh, was here already or? Yes. Yeah. The, the refrigerator's here, the stove, the dishwasher stays everything except for the microwave and the toaster does not. Um, okay. And then this obviously goes right into your huge backyard. Yes, it's usually a screen door, so you don't let the bugs in. But then, yes, we get to play fetch with our dog. We like that this part of the fence is covered from our neighbors, but then we also get to have the open fence line to see all the greenery and beautiful blessings that we have here in Germany. And there's lots of birds in those trees, so we get nice morning wake-ups to the birds <laughs> singing, which is great. Awesome. Okay, walking out of the kitchen, going into the main family room slash dining room. We'll start with the family room over here. I love that we had floor to ceiling windows. That has been so great. That and then nice. also with the window, one of the windows you can open up that way and open all the way, as well as this door. You can crack it to get ventilation, uh -huh. as well as open it all the way and go outside to the backyard. Yeah, I like these screens too. Love the screens, yes, yeah. as well. Okay. And we have the 220 and 110 outlets here. There is a heater. There's a radiator over there. Radiator heating. All the walls are concrete, by the way. Keep that in mind when you're trying to hang stuff up on the walls. You might need a heavy duty drill. Did you guys go to self help to get a heavy duty drill? Or we have, you had we one? Have those, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's our dog bed. I was about to say, is this where you put your child? <laughs> no, 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 that's our dog bed. <laughs> but it usually doesn't have that cover because. You know, no, it's all good. Everything. They're on their way, to, uh, they're PCSing out of here, obviously, so that's why you see a lot of government furniture and the house is, um, is pretty much bare. Yes. Okay. This is our dining room. Dining room, yes. Which fits a big table. Our table that we normally have is about this size as well. Once again, you get all this natural light from the window. Open, but from the window, yeah. even when the door is not open. This house just has so much natural light over here, which I love, and all the big windows. Wouldn't it make more sense to just take that wall off? You don't even really need it, right? <laughs> yeah, but I did like that when we had this door on, like we, so there's supposed to be a door right here uh -huh. to close it off. Uh -huh. And I did like that um, we can close that area off uh, to okay. greet people without like having Bella come. Right. 
Okay. Walking into what should be the master bedroom, right? Correct. This is a master right off of the dining room area. It has lots of wardrobe space, his and her wardrobe, shelving, top um, storage as well. We chose to not have this as our master. And why? Two reasons. One, because the windows open up a little too much for us and our furniture. And then second, we have a daughter and we wanted to be on the same floor as her. Got it. But I mean, it's a, a huge room. So it's a great guest room then. <laughs> yes, we do have this as a guest room. And if you come this way, there is the master bathroom. walk downstairs now into the basement. Lot of space down here. Lot of space. We have a whole nother house. So this first room, what did we do here? We have this as my husband's man cave. You could definitely turn it into another square bedroom. There is one plug in this room, um, one German plug, and there is a heater, so that's nice. Okay. So it could definitely be a square bedroom. All right, man cave slash uh, movie Jeez. room, playroom, whatever you need it to be. Okay, moving this way, this is just kind of a utility room here. Mm -hmm. This is where uh, your oil will go to heat up your home. You probably don't ever need to be in this room uh, unless you want to hide your Christmas presents from the kids, but no other real reason to be in here. Everybody um, that lives in government housing doesn't really need to take care of any of their utility stuff at the home. You have people that actually will come by and take care of that for you, correct? Yes, they have came by twice a year to fill up our oil and then also check any of um, the utility stuff that's in there. Okay, perfect. All right, other room here. By the way, there is radiator heating in the middle of these rooms as well. You have plenty of heating in yes, this house. Yes, correct. And one of those little heaters can get so warm. So, yeah. I, yeah. So this is the laundry room slash, you said, the mom cave. The mom. This one is nice because it does have American outlets. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're fine. It does have American outlets. Yeah. So if you need to just charge anything down here, the washer and dryer does stay. Um, and there's three American outlets. We were able to put a deep freezer down here as well. There's plenty of space. So like if you're ever thinking the houses in Germany are really small, you won't have the space to bring your big stuff. There's plenty of storage. And then there's also storage back behind the metal wall. So yeah, this metal wall is uh, just storage area. I don't know really why you need this metal wall, but it's there. But yeah, more storage. Okay. And there right. is also storage under the stairs. Cool, okay, let's go upstairs. to the first floor or the second floor? This is, I guess, considered the first floor. The top floor. Top floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go to this room first. Yes, we use this as a kid's room. Um, slanted ceilings were slightly difficult to deal with, but we made it work. But it's a huge room. We had a queen-size bed in here, dressers, book stands, um, and then there's also the wardrobe around the corner yeah. for all her toys and dresses. Upstairs in the loft area, you can put couches up here if you want, or wardrobes, yeah, because there's no space. linen closet. So we did put oh. a few IKEA wardrobes up here to put towels and blankets gotcha. and stuff. Okay. And this is technically the 
spare bathroom, but we used it as the master because of the two sinks, the two options to take showers, one with a stand-up shower, one with a bath that you can use as a shower as well. We have a huge window to ventilate it after showering and lots of mirror um, lighting for getting ready and 220 and 110 plugs. Did you have enough counter space though? To so get... counter space, I didn't love. I do actually like to have a counter, but we did have a shelf in here that helped. And also when we moved in, there were those under the counter um, cabinets in all of the bathrooms. However, the under the cabinet storage is not included in it, but the old, the people before here um, left them. So. We were lucky enough to get those. Okay, cool. Okay, last room. This is master bedroom, right? This is a spare bedroom that we use as a master. It's the bigger of the two rooms upstairs and we were able to put our bed along the flush wall. We didn't have to deal with the slanted ceilings. Once again, two big windows, lots of natural light, lots of cross breeze. There's a wardrobe with shelves as well as um, space to hang your clothes. We had a queen bed, two nightstands, and two big dressers that fit perfectly in here. Nice, okay. All right. And did you feel like you guys both had enough space to hang all your clothes? So that was Brandon's closet. Once again, we had another wardrobe that was out in the loft area. Okay. From Ikea that I hung my dresses. Most of my stuff I fold and put it in the dressers, but yeah. for my dresses, I did have a, a wardrobe out there, which was completely fine. Well, watch your head on that slanted ceiling. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Great view. Yeah, so this is a, yeah. A, beautiful view here but um yeah these slanted ceilings here are sometimes a little troublesome so yes i know oh oh <laughs> yeah a little bit of an issue but <laughs> and then also you get yeah. the backyard and all the trees and the birds in the morning nice okay all right, last thing to note here that there is an attic. Did you guys use this a lot for we storage? We never did. Um, my husband and my daughter went up there to kind of look up there and, and check it out, but we never used it. We had plenty of storage inside of the house okay. for any and everything that we needed. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe and binge watch a lot more videos in preparation for your move to Germany. Don't forget your free PCS checklist. I'll leave that link in the description as well as my free download for the 30 things you must know before PCS into Germany with the US military. A big thanks to the military spouse who allowed us to walk through her home today. Good luck to you and your family in Fort Carson. Germany is definitely gonna miss you guys.